What's happening YouTube peeps? Thanks for stopping back by the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. We've got something cool. We've got our Snap-on EEDM 570 low amp clamp color screen multimeter to do a review on today. Something that you guys really are going to enjoy. You guys might be interested in it, especially at the nice price point of 395 bones. It's going to be something that's going to be in your price range and something that's going to be really helpful for you guys in the shop. So you better stay tuned. So for the past couple weeks, I've been trying out this new, this I guess not so new, but new to me, EEDM 570 uh, multimeter. Uh, this thing is still a standard multimeter, has the regular ports here, does temperature, does the uh, amps, milliamps, volts, uh, everything that a regular meter would do for you. Plus it has a really nice little color screen for you guys. I really do like that one as well. But to boot, it has the low amp clamp top to it. This thing is really helpful when we're trying to do somewhat preliminary diagnostics for our amp draws. Now some of the other meters that I have done a review on, the bigger and newer uh, $700 one, that one has the uh, hookups where you can put the powered low amp clamp thing on it, but that meter isn't quite tuned for that low amp clamp. This one has everything all bundled into one package all right here just for you guys when you open the box it does come with this nice little carrying case for you uh, it's like a waterproof soft shell case to it these are the things it comes with comes with your standard meter leads comes with the screw on uh, alligator style clips as well with the boot ends on them and then also for your temp it's got the adapter to go into the meter as well as your temperature lead as well and the nice little case with velcro ends for you to keep it all nice safely housed in it is auto ranging it does ac dc it has a relativity range that's works amazingly and it is a true rms meter for you guys who do a lot of work in the ac field so this is the uh, meter here really nice functional buttons that rotator that it's got right here as you can see nice color screen works really well so what you guys are really going to want to use this for is what it's made for is the uh, low amp clamp here so i've got a nice little setup diagnostic test here to be able to show you guys something that uh, is going to be really easy and how accurate this is compared to a traditional meter set up in series of a circuit so for our test that we have set up for you is uh, some led lights that we've got hooked up to a booster pack and then tied into series is our new eedm 596 f meter so we can show you the exact to the dot measurement of the amperage on this circuit now this one here we've got this one to talk about the technology of it really so as compared to when you hook up a meter in series you are passing the direct current straight through your meter and you're getting an exact reading right through the meter on these low amp circuit meters how it tells how much amperage is it uses magnetic inductive pickups so it uses the current that is going through the wire and then it is able to generate however much field of electric current is going through the small magnets that are built into the clamp end here and then is able to calculate based on how well tuned the meter is to tell you the amp outputs there so we are going to tune this one into the milliamps here and that's where we have our multimeter here set up to is to milliamps and then we're gonna get it somewhat close because as you can see, the 
touchiness of this meter, it, it is really touchy. And that's because of the technology. Like I said, the inductive uh, clamp does have pickups to the magnet in it. So anytime you come close to anything electronic, metal, I mean, you don't even have to be around anything electronic. Something metal here, oh, look, got 72 milliamps. So just waving it around to random places. Maybe it's even close to my watch that it's pulling that. Yep, so something different. So this thing is usually auto ranging, so when you're able to switch it back and forth, it does auto set itself. But then if you were to push the, we'll get it to focus here, the relative button here right in the corner, this is going to zero it out to that general area. So I like to hold the meter, not right up next to whatever wires we're testing, but somewhat close to it. So we're in that general area, and then we're gonna go and clamp it right here to our power side. So right now, we are going right around 430 milliamps, which right here, 418 milliamps. Really, really freaking close, especially when you're talking about hundreds of an amp, guys. 420, 430, and we're right at 418 milliamps right there on that screen. We are a very, very close. So as you guys can see, this meter is something that is gonna be really close to tell. I'm still not gonna say, you know, you guys gonna use it for an exact, exact draw reading, but it's gonna get you in the ballpark of saying, hey, yeah, there really could be some kind of a draw here, or no, you know, there, there seems to be no draw coming out of this one. So this one, obviously, it does have that draw. Also, some people have asked me, well, you know, here we have one of these already, one of these precision probe low amp clamps uh, that already comes with a couple of the scan tools for doing pickups and graphing and such like that. Now see at the price of $364.99, as compared to the meter all in one, that's not gonna be really a viable source. Plus, as I have tested before with our standard meter here, if you were to plug that low amp probe into that, you've got some calculations to do. You've gotta figure out what the difference in calculation is between how that meter is set up and how this meter's ranging is. So normally I was gonna have like right around a 20 to 40 milliamp difference in that, whether it be up or down. I wasn't sure of that one exactly, but like I said, that exact clamp is not tuned for this meter specifically. And then this one being all in one unit, that low amp clamp is obviously tuned great for that meter. And we can see again, how well it's gonna be working. Four hundred and thirty as four hundred and twenty. We're really close on the same spectrum there to get a very close estimate to what our amperage draw in this circuit's gonna be. If you get a reading that you like and you're able to see it there, you are able to hit the hold button to hold exactly so you can have it and so you can show what kind of readings that you were getting. You're also able to range in the other functions. It's got your recording of your peak, high and lows. When you're in the voltage areas, you are able to switch between AC and DC volts. Then this little gray button here at the bottom, it's just to select between the secondary settings here. So if you're switching between Celsius and Fahrenheit on your temp, switching between diodes and it's turning the beep on and on there for your ohms reading, it's able to switch back and forth between those functions. Just extra functions so the dial doesn't have to keep on going around and around to more other functions. I would imagine that's why they put that one there. One other thing to point out is this meter is category three certified up to 600 volts. So the category three, it means it is viable up to three phase distribution, including single phase commercial lighting. So for you guys who do the larger amperage stuff with commercial applications, this meter is gonna be able to handle those kind of things. Like I said guys, really nice cool tool at a really good price in that price range under $400, $394 MSRP to be exact. This tool might be something that'll fit really great into your bag. 
I personally do own this tool right now. Uh, they did send it to me for testing, but I am definitely gonna keep this one, and I have been using the crap out of it. It helps me in those situations where I'd like to see if there is a preliminary draw before. You know, say if it was a diesel, I would have to unhook two batteries and try to find out if there's some kind of draw through that system. So a low amp probe like this one, especially in these tiny circumstances, or in my case with conversion vans, all kinds of little draws, it's able to give me a preliminary reading telling me what kind of draw that I'm going to be looking for when I start my testing. Like I said, really good meter. I do recommend that one for you guys. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you today. It was a nice, easy little review for you. If you guys like content like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Tell me I did a good job. If not, make sure you hit the th thumbs down and I'll do some readjusting for what kind of things that I still like too and I hope that you guys do too. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell notification for turning on to get notified when I come out with cool, awesome content just for you guys. We're gonna be doing a whole lot more really cool stuff coming up as well, so make sure you stay tuned to that. Thanks again, and you guys stay awesome.